Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Aprons Off, the show where we stop cooking and we just hang out. Today is a very special episode for me, particularly, um, because <laughs> we're tasting fast food. Cinnamon we're like a rolls. morning show now. We all have <laughs> coffee mugs. This is, I'm Hoda Kotb. Yeah. yeah. We have increasingly weird coffee mugs. I'm one of the Bush twins. <laughs> uh, we're tasting fast food cinnamon rolls. We're going to rank them and tell you which one's the best. One of them get a DUI. I don't know. Yeah, they? whatever. You, Trevor, you were saying. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yo, it's. I said it. <laughs> we got it. Uh, so we've got Cinnabon, okay. um, which you can find in most malls. Carl's Jr., which you can find in most streets. Pizza sure. Hut, which is Cinnabon <laughs> delivered by Pizza Hut. Cinnabon does have a lock on most of the cinnamon roll market, if we're being <laughs> yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Uh, then we've got McDonald's, McCafe, and Dunkin'. Uh, they're like cinnamon roll donut si like hybrid situation. Cool. Um, this is riveting stuff. Like This is really <laughs> riveting stuff. Can I ask, whose idea was it to taste fast food cinnamon rolls? Nicole, why cinnamon rolls? I don't know. I think it's because I had the TikTok sound. Uh, is a cinnamon roll can kill you, can kill you, is a cinnamon roll in my head? And I'm like, well, we just need to eat cinnamon rolls. Folks, welcome to the creative process. This is how it happens. We are geniuses. <laughs> I have a problem with cinnamon rolls because I'll eat them until I'm sick. Yeah. Oh. I, I love cinnamon rolls, one of my favorite, like, desserty type foods, but I don't have any self, like, I'll just keep eating it until I want to throw up. Yeah, like a uh, corgi, right? Yeah. You put out a pile of food in front of a corgi, they will eat <laughs> themselves to death. That's yeah. not a corgi fact that, that most people true? know. <laughs> I know the two corgi facts I know are that, and then that the queen, when she died, killed off her line of <gasps> corgis intentionally. Yeah. <clears throat> she was like, they must not reproduce, they die with me. Yeah. Anyways, let's jump into it. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, let's see the Cinnabon. Oh, the royal family's not the best. <laughs> well, I feel like we should save Cinnabon, because surely it's the best, okay. right? Okay, do you want to start I with I do have Duncan? a general theory that like the, the lower quality Quality, the cheaper the cinnamon roll, the better it is. Okay. Right? Like fancy cinnamon rolls, I've never wow. had a good one. They're all like th thick and crusty. I want something just small, dense, and wet. Do you yeah. just want to grab one and eat it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, can you look put at, mine look directly at that. on I wish I had <laughs> Just put Mine it on does the table. that too. Oh. Whoa! Oh. No, can we not? I just showed Nicole a TikTok of the Donut Daddy. I don't know if you've seen the Donut Daddy. He's very sexual, right? Disgusting. He's very oh. sexual. It was very God. sexual. If you think that we are laden with like you know sexual innuendo in our cooking show, you should watch what some of these freaks on TikTok are doing, man. Yeah, it's they're, like, they're all they're weird. like licking they're the like, raw salmon. Dude, they're he, doing a lot. And he took like, a piece of dough. <laughs> he cut it. He just gave it a little slice down uh. the middle so that it resembled a butt cheeks. Yeah. And then he straight up just puts he's his face it. in it and like, he's just like. That was weird. And it was, I literally wanted to throw my phone into the LA River. And again, between consenting adults, like that's all fine and good. But when, when you're Nicole. Don't can't say no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I want to throw Ethan's. myself into the LA River. In the jazz in the I did, it sucks. It's bad. <laughs> I hate this. Boo. Hold on, hold on. I've never had a good taste of food from Duncan. This is I love Duncan because Boo. they will sell me a 40 ounce iced coffee. <laughs> and that is borderline immoral. <laughs> Any food that I've ever had from Duncan has been objectively bad. Their donuts yeah. Are, yeah. are, I think, the worst in the game. <laughs> yeah. And I love fast food donuts. I love Krispy Kreme. I love chain donuts. This is just like, this is dry. Not a proper cinnamon roll, obviously. It's a, it's like a donutified version. Yeah, it's yeah. not enjoyable at Sucks. all. Sucks. No, I would if I was stuck with this is a burden. Mm -hmm. The size of this. If I was stuck with this, I'd be so mad in a car. I think this is more for like uh, office parties where you're going to be feeding like a, a ton of people and like people share the same. Oh yeah, you roll. want everybody who's stuck in the same office together to just be mad to start the day. I get it. Okay. Take your um, cinnamon roll. Okay. The, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Mick Cafe. McCafe, like just cover. Yeah, I'll take oh, a box. Yeah, covered in cream. This is three this times heavier than the Dunkin' one, which is good. <laughs> it is. You also it's can't wet. see every single like square centimeter is covered in cream. Whoa. Now we're warming up. <laughs> oh my! Wait a sec. Mm. Wait a sec. The frosting is cream cheesy. There's it. Is there almond extract? In, dude, there's mm. some artificial extract inside this icing that gives it this like. Chemical taste. It's very chemically. I will say. I will say. It does. But in a great way to me. It's a cream cheese chemical. Is that what it is? I think it's the cream cheese additive that is used a lot in like baking. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? That weird cream cheese additive. Yeah. No, yeah. I hate it. It's... Are you talking about the cream cheese extract? Yeah, that's the thing too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cream cheese extract. Dude, there's cream cheese extract in here. It's vile. I yeah. hate. I'm not a big really? cream cheese frosting guy. I will eat it I, in like small quantities, but this is vile because it does yeah. just like I don't know because it tastes like that. Uh, it just tastes like that artificial cream cheese yeah. flavor, and it's like 
Yeah. I will say it is definitely better than the Dunkin' one. So it is better. 100%. I'm loving this. Yeah, you're loving it. Yeah, ba ba da ba da. Ba da ba ba da ba. Ba da ba da ba. Incredible. Ba 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 da ba. You bought this in the microwave for 15 seconds, you know, or like you sous vide it for like a couple days. Put it in grimaces. Sorry. Sorry, my fault. They call that going into a G hole. Things like don't eat daddy's clothes. Man. <laughs> uh, Grimace is a taste bud, so it's okay. I think Grimace? I only think Donut Dad Wait is gross because in an alternate world I am him. Did you just say Grimace is a taste bud? Yeah, he's a taste bud. Is this confirmed by McDonald's.com? Yeah. <laughs> no yeah, way. canonically Grimace is a taste bud. He's a purple taste bud. Grimace is a lich. No, he's a taste bud. No, he's like an undead demon born from sin. Is he like he's a, a taste bud. Is he a taste bud that like fell off because of necrosis? I don't know why he's purple, <laughs> but he's he a purple? taste bud. McDon at least according to McDonald's Twitter. I don't know what's going okay. on over there, but he's a taste bud. Uh, Ronald McDonald is not a certified clown. <laughs> <laughs> He never did the proper clown training. You think he ever performed tortue? You think he went to a, a French clowning college? Oh, no. The Hamburglar isn't a real criminal. He's never committed a crime. He was framed. The Hamburglar was framed. He's, the Hamburglar the hamburger is doing it for clout, like John Morant just waving a gun around. And that's what the Hamburglar does. He's cosplaying a criminal. So, so far these are just, <laughs> this is the worst. Yeah. yeah. So then we're just gonna, this is best to worst. Yeah, should we start and, ranking yeah. it? I think Duncan's gonna stay at the worst, man. I don't think. Surely. All right, bring us over here. You're, you're not dethroned, okay. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. good. That's we'll good. keep Cinnabon there. Cinnabon, we got a that's lot a hitter, <laughs> that's a hitter. I need coffee break, coffee break, coffee break. <laughs> I'm a fraud. I Cheers. I chugged my coffee before we even started. <laughs> what? I don't have anything. I else. almost asked for a, a refill, but I didn't want to get out oh of the Oh my God, you're so sweet, thank you. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mm. What a great morning. So this is, uh, oh, 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 yes, yes! This looks like Armenian manti. This is like a dumpling. Oh, look at that. They're shoved together, they're tiny, they're wet. Cinnamon rolls should be wet. I, show, I show like them. Oh. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like a TV dinner. It's oh, like, yeah. It's a depressing TV I dinner. I love oh, that they're yeah. bite sized. <laughs> I do love that they're bite sized because if I can get all the the mm. like outside crispy part of a cinnamon roll and the gooey center in one bite, mm -hmm. that's ideal for me. Ooh. A cinnamon roll should not have texture. <laughs> no, no, no. If it has wow. texture, it's one and it should be chew. Mm. And it should be wet. I love okay. that. Okay, I love that. That wins. <laughs> I love that. Hold on though, hold on. It's like if you were doing a burger competition and like just a tray of like wet sliders won, <laughs> which I would probably want to win, but it'd be like if it was like a French toasted slider tray. Really delicious. Is it a cinnamon roll? Yeah. Yeah, it has a, look at it, it's rolled. And look, that's cinnamon man, in it. Fair enough, good enough for me. <laughs> Do I think it tastes a little bit like pizza dough? I was just a gonna say bit. that. Which but I kinda love. Do I also, care? Like, no. What do they mean? Okay, cr crafted by Cinnabon, mini rolls delivered by Pizza Hut. Um, what does that mean? There's a Cinnabon factory out there and they're sending Pizza Hut frozen That's trays it. of cinnamon rolls. That's the one. But like, it does feel like pizza dough. That doesn't feel like Cinnabon dough. Did they make them like vaguely pizza dough tasting? I wouldn't be surprised if like they had like a different dough recipe than the actual cinnamon rolls. Weird. I do. Well, yeah. they're making the dough. Uh, well, okay, I don't know if this is certain. Uh, I'm getting this fact from Better Call Saul. <laughs> But they're making the dough fresh at the Cinnabon, aren't they? I don't know. And better call Saul they are. Really? Because he, Saul Goodman, yeah. Yeah. Bob Odenkirk, is at the Cinnabon. He's the manager after he's been, you know, his life has been re- <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I've, I've, I've watched And he's making it. the I've dough watched. fresh. I've never watched it. But like, they do that at like the, the Wetzel's pretzels. They're making yeah. the dough fresh there and they're swinging it. Are they making it, so. the dough or are they just, they get raw dough and they're like rolling it out? I think they're making the dough. Really? I think awesome. they're making giant batches of dough. Pretty cool. sweet, man. Um, I have a question about Better Call Saul. Yeah. His name's Jimmy. Yeah. But he changes it to Saul? When? I haven't watched it. I'm like it. three Please seasons don't... in and I hate it. I don't want to keep watching Please it. It's like, it he me. changes it. No, it's not a spoiler. He changes to Saul when, like, it's the moment where he becomes corrupt. Like, there's But, like, a point... within Better Call Saul, like, I'm waiting for the moment where somebody stares at the camera and goes, 
you better call Saul. And no one's done it in three seasons. No, it's actually, that's funny because there is a moment. It's when he like, he like leaves the courthouse after getting his like lawyer's license back after it got like revoked or something. And he goes, Saul Goodman, because that's like his thing. That's why he calls himself Saul Goodman. That's what Saul Goodman means? Yeah, like Saul what Goodman. What are you talking about? I'm not going to keep watching it, man. It's such a good oh, show. No, no, I no. Uh, Carl's Jr. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Where does this rank? Where does this rank? Where does this rank? Um, one, right so. now, number one. It's number one, right? Yeah. yeah. It's wet. It's chewy. Yeah. Okay. We're moving this here. Oh, gosh. We're move that me. over here preliminarily. Oh, We're oh, gonna okay. keep this here right now. Okay. This is this is number one. Wow, this, you're, Trevor, just you're hold this. Me. I can't hold it. I, there's really no confusing. space, dude. There's what no you, confusing. I don't know. There's nowhere. There's put, no confusing. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Okay, so let's just move this, and then let's also move the card, so people oh. aren't confused. People at home oh, are not confused. There's cards up there. Right now, in first place, we got Cinnabon Pizza Hut, but yes, I think yes, this yes. can be beat. In second place, we got the old McDonald's. Okay. The McDonald's. Okay. Um, and then technically, I think we leave Duncan in last. Let's just yeah. Leave it. Let's we leave Duncan in last, yeah, just in case. Fair. No way yeah. Duncan um, beats any of these. Okay. Carl's Jr., I, I'm a longtime Carl's Jr. lover. I think they're kind of a bit of the forgotten yeah. fast food hardies, if you're speaking Dude. East Coast out here. You you put a Western bacon cheeseburger in my hand, Ooh, and girl. That's, I'm going to just go sicko mode. Um, Going on you with the pick and roll. You know what I'm saying? Why is this so good? It's really good, right? Wow. This dough feels biscuity. Why is it so I've good? never like had any of these other than the original Cinnabon, by the way. Like I would never get a cinnamon roll at a fast food restaurant. Me either. Mm. If I'm there, I'm if I'm in, if I'm there in cinnamon roll time, I'm eating like sausages dipped in ketchup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. This is really good. This is better than the Pizza Hut ones in my opinion. I agree. How do you wow. feel, Trevor? It's hard because, like, I, I think that there would be, you know, differing things were these Holy warm. Smokes. But this is good. I would be fine putting it above Pizza Hut. Look at that That's crumb. Are you only eating the middle? Look at that. Yeah, I eat the filet. Like, I don't terrible. eat. It's, I'm not eating the. No, bit, I had a peel of the banana. I had a bite of the outside, and then I had the middle. You have to taste all the all the layers. Lauren. Okay. Yeah. This, Without a doubt, this is the best one. Yeah, we can we can put this up. In. Wait, I want to try the McDonald's one. I want to compare. I want to compare like dough to dough. There, there's like, like too much frosting on the McDonald's I for agree. me. This is a better amount of frosting. So the dough in the McDonald's one is just like a crusty bread because these are like similar, right? It's the same size. What you think of like a diner cinnamon roll? Yeah. This dough tastes like old challah. Challah. <laughs> this dough, it has that like reinforced pastry feel mm. where it's simultaneously dense but there's so much fat and dough conditioner in yeah. there. I will say it's definitely biscuitier, mm. but mm. I think it creates a more delicious eating mm. experience. I'm I'm so scared being in the splash zone. This this guy right I feel now. like I He's feel like so much goo on his hands. I feel like tar. I feel oh like Oh my tar god, from stop waving tar. your hands around. <laughs> like Lydia Tar? Lydia Tar. <laughs> yeah. Never uh, saw it. Ah, great movie. I, I know it's problematic, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay. <laughs> Ooh, whatever. <laughs> and then we do this, uh -huh. right? Oh, fudge me. That's okay, you're doing Fudge really me, good. okay? Josh, and then, help him. Josh, you're... Josh, you're help dip, him. Oh my God. What's wrong with Oh, you're a criminal. Have you guys ever seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Like 15 times. Remember when the frosting falls off his face into the tea? Yeah. I'm doing that with the Cinnabon frosting. This what are we just eating like now? Donut Daddy. <laughs> you are worse Dude, than Donut too many, Daddy. There's so many boxes on this. There's so many boxes. Nicole, if you just stop looking at me, then you won't be You're offended. You're so distracting. It's really hard. Okay, well, here's oh, some of oh, Okay, God. I'm going to put this in the middle. Oh, I'd be saving for last. <laughs> Cinnabons are a relic of the past. They're a beastly anachronism. They're something that I don't think could be created today. Right? Just like in the level of like um, responsibility in terms of like what humans should or should not be consuming. This is like shiz. I love this. It's like buzz balls. It's like you couldn't make buzz balls today. Or like four loco. This is the four loco of food. Every time I walk through a mall and I smell a Cinnabon, there's like a creature inside me that wakes up and goes, you need to go. You gotta go to this. This, this SHI double hockey six is not even close, man. Holy! This is LeBron playing against what? middle schoolers. You think oh this is god. better than Carl's? Jr.? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Yes, I think this is better. Than, oh, I think Nicole. I think the company that launched like a billion dollar <laughs> cinnamon roll oh. wave across America is better than Carl's Jr. Yeah, I think Cinnabon's <laughs> better than Carl's Jr. The first thing I ate. Can I try the Carl's Jr. When I was, comparison? After my junior year of high school. That was probably I, mine. I don't think you want that. I went to the Philippines for two weeks. I came back and I was in the the, uh, the Toronto, Air, no, the Vancouver airport. 
first thing I did after landing back in North America was eat two Cinnabons. Oh That's gosh. how they naturalized you back into America. <laughs> and I tell you what, I felt so disgusting, but it was like uh-huh. the best moment. I was just like, oh my God. You know, sometimes you gotta get, like, get shots to go to other countries. Like you have to get a typhoid <laughs> shot if you go to Thailand. You have, yeah. to get a, you have to get a Laufoid shot if you go to Laos. <laughs> To get into America, (laughs) to get into America, (coughs) to get into America, you just have to eat two cinnamon to get back in. (laughs) That wasn't a bit. I legitimately got cinnamon rolls stuck in my throat. Do you guys know how some people comment to us and they're like, "You're all fake laughing because what somebody said wasn't (laughs) funny enough." That never happens. Never. The thing is, what you don't see is that five minutes before we started filming, (laughs) I thought Trevor was making a Thailand typhoid pun. And then I made a Laufoid pun, and then we just said that that's the worst joke ever told. And then we found a way to seamlessly <laughs> write that into the, not write that, just seamlessly bring that up, talking about cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and so that is why it seems like we're fake laughing. Yeah. <laughs> because 90 per, we're, our, this show was like an iceberg. Yeah. You know, you see three, the 3% of the tip. That's what Donut did. <laughs> Also, like, we have no problems telling each other that the joke that someone made is dumb as frick. <laughs> yeah, really dumb. We do it on camera. We'll make a joke and just be like, that was terrible. Try again. Okay, well, who what's the number one cinnamon roll, everybody? Uh, but we gotta move this, right? Yeah. Okay. I really think the Carl Jr. <laughs> one's better. Is that bad of me? Yeah, it's bad of you. Mm. Josh is raising his hand. Okay. I feel sick. Let's go home. <laughs> Okay, well. I soaked the Cinnabon in my coffee and then ate it like a French dip sandwich. Show everyone your hands. Show everyone your hands. Show everyone your sick hands. Also, before before we started filming, I said, I'm gonna need 10 to 15 wet caps (laughs) near me after we wrap. And I know nobody doubted me, but I would like to show the results. I'm so sweaty, I'm getting itchy. I'm I'm itchy. I'm itchy. itchy. Dude, do we have booth bugs? I don't know. (laughs) My back is itchy. I'm (laughs) uncomfortable. I need to be out of here. Uh, Maybe you ate too much sugar. We gotta get to the car. Let's review. Let's review. Let's review. Let's review from worst to first. We got Duncan. Pretty bad job, Duncan. I love that you serve your responsible amounts of coffee. McDonald's. I liked the (laughs) nature of it. I thought that was fun. Y'all didn't seem to appreciate it. Hated it. The crafted by Cinnabon mini rolls, delivered by Pizza Hut, presented by Tampax. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Why pretty are you freaking so good. Funny. Pretty good. They're dense. So they're funny. wet. It's served in a microwavable <laughs> thing. Carl Jr. Su- surprise standout. Yeah. The sea biscuit yeah. of biscuit-based cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Incredible. Sea biscuit was an underdog. They said the jockey was too big. The horse is too small. It's still one. <laughs> is that true? Wait, yeah. what is sea? Is sea biscuit a horse? Did yes. you not see Toby Maguire's Sea Biscuit? Have you no. never heard someone Bro. say, I gotta pee like Sea Biscuit? <laughs> no, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I've heard Sea Biscuit so many you times. You had no idea what we were talking I about. I never questioned it. Oh I just thought it was like, I don't know, I thought it was like a dog at sea on a boat or something. Well, the word Sea Biscuit is a weird combination of words. Sea Biscuit. Then why they call a horse Sea Biscuit? <laughs> why do they call a secretary? Oh, horses are just called. Why do they call horses? Do you remember we went to the horse race? <laughs> Downtown the Brown. The <laughs> and there was the one that was just like a My Cousin Vinny reference. Yeah. It was a whole sentence. Yeah. yeah. It was like, what do you mean the 1964 <laughs> Buick Skylark doesn't have pause attraction? Like it was, that was just the name of the horse. Um, and then the winner. Cinnabon original. Come on. <laughs> They're the kings for a reason. This is a food that is not overrated. It's perfectly rated. They do the best job. Yeah. Oh, oh that's the bell. We can go that's home. That's the bell. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, we're going to answer a question. Nic- <laughs> Nicole Franklin asked, advice question, colon, what can I eat to make me happy when I'm sad that is still relatively healthy? Question mark. And then in parentheses, PhD student who cries a lot. Close parentheses. Ooh, okay. Um... Josh, Not any of this. Out of van. What does that one do? <laughs> I don't know. Is that your answer? Is that a no. prescription no, no, drug? No. Here's the thing. Yes. Foods, foods that make you the happiest, right? Like chemically, like sugar, fat, mm. MSG, I'd argue. If you're talking strictly in terms of health or caloric density, MSG is where you want to go. What you should do, um, uh, just take ramen packets and put them on your <laughs> tongue. Put them under your tongue. You know? Do that. That's what I suggest. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? You have to Parmesan look at cheese. Parmesan look at cheese crisps. <laughs> Bake off some Parmesan cheese. Use that as a nacho chip to go into guacamole. I, I like um, asparagus makes me happy. You do a little drizzle of olive oil with some salt and pepper, mm-hmm. and you pop that in the oven, get it nice and roasty. It's a nice snack. 
So um, if you're feeling down, um, have some water. Just like drink water. Boo! And then reevaluate where you are. And then maybe I don't know, like have like a little piece of dark chocolate. Have like salmon. Omega threes make you feel really good. I heard on the internet somewhere. Um, a handful of spinach, something with folic acid. And yeah, you know, it just uh, you will find happiness in other things other than food. I'm sure you will. Diet Coke, prosciutto. Oh yeah, prosciutto straight out prosciutto, the fridge. Prosciutto straight out the fridge, that's the answer. Prosciutto straight out the fridge. Cause honestly it's so salty and it's so filled with MSG and you don't like, you can't eat that much of it or you get the kidney stones. I love <laughs> prosciutto out of the Wait, fridge. you're not supposed to eat a lot of prosciutto? Well like you can't, you wouldn't eat like a full pound of prosciutto like the way that I could just suck down a full pound of ground turkey. I could eat a full pound of prosciutto I think. Prove it. Your favorite food podcast has its own tea. Oh my God, we do? We sure do. Get your own a hot dog as a sandwich logo tea at mythical.com.